This math course includes many videos. Some videos, like the referent video, are straightforward and can be watched without interruption. However, many of the videos in this course, including this one, show calculations. It is not always possible to follow a calculation at the speed it is presented in the video. It is a good idea to pause the video regularly to make sure you understand each of the steps before moving on. For challenging sections, you may need to watch part or all of the video more than once to make sure you have a clear understanding of the ideas presented in the video. A conversion ratio is a ratio equal to 1 that can be used to convert between different units. Let's look at an example. There are 1000 milliliters in 1 liter. If we divide both sides of this equation by 1000 milliliters, the two 1000 milliliters on the left side of the equation reduce, and the result is a ratio that is equal to 1, so it is a conversion ratio. We can produce a slightly different ratio by dividing both sides of the original quality by 1 liter. The two 1 liters on the right side of the equation reduce, and we're left with 1000 milliliters divided by 1 liter is equal to 1. Again, this is a ratio equal to 1, so it too is a conversion ratio. Now we have three representations of the same information. An equality of two different units, and two ratios of different units that are each equal to 1. Although the original equality isn't represented as a ratio equal to 1, it contains the same information as the other equations, so we're going to refer to it as a conversion ratio in this course. Each of the three conversion ratios can be used to convert between milliliters and liters. You are probably already familiar with some conversion ratios. Many people know that there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram, or that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. Many other less common conversion ratios can be quickly determined using the prefix table located in your module. Let's look at writing a conversion ratio for hectometers and decimeters. The conversion factor for each prefix shows how many of that unit are equal to one base unit. In this example, 0.01 hectometers are equal to one meter, and 10 decimeters are equal to one meter. Because both values are equal to one meter, they must be equal to each other. This means that 0.01 hectometers is equal to 10 decimeters. You may have noticed that the conversion ratio between grams and kilograms shown in the table does not match the conversion ratio we determined earlier in this video. Using the table, you can see that 1 gram is equal to 0.001 kilograms, which doesn't match the earlier conversion ratio. However, by multiplying both sides of the equation by 1000, the result is the conversion ratio most people are familiar with. Either of these conversion ratios can be used when converting between grams and kilograms.